Cars have always been a part of my photography, especially when I'm making landscape photos within a city, they end up making their way into the photos a lot of the times. And to me, when this is successful, the car will actually complement the landscape that it's sitting in. But I've personally never set out with the specific intentions of focusing on photographing a car. And I think my first serious opportunity to do this was when Road & Track magazine recently reached out to me and asked me to photograph the Corvette Z06 in the desert. So today I wanna share some behind the scenes of this shoot with the Corvette Z06 and share some of my process behind photographing maybe one of the coolest supercars to come out of America in a very long time. This issue of Road & Track magazine is titled Sacred Ground, and it's as much about the cars as it is about the places that are important to cars and car enthusiasts. And so for the Corvette Z06, I would be photographing it on the roads of Anza Borrego, where this car was actually developed and perfected by Aaron Link, who's the GM development driver, and he would be joining us on the shoot as well. Before we get into the shoot, I wanna share a little bit of the planning and the pre-production that goes into a project like this. There's two things I'll usually do. I'll go on Google Maps Street View to find interesting looking key points or interesting overlooks. And then to find interesting like twisty roads, I'll go on Google Maps and just look at the shape of the road itself, find some nice curves and see if there are any vantage points to photograph the car from. In terms of equipment, I would be bringing my Mamiya RZ67 and my Mamiya 7 as a backup, which as you'll see in the video, I'm very glad I did bring a backup. Then finally, I have my digital camera just to test my flash shots and to preview some images. I really like the blue colors that are going on from this early morning glow, especially with the orange car in there. It just complements each other very nicely. We just shot some foggy photos of the Corvette, uh, like at the first light, and now we're at this beautiful viewpoint to hopefully get some more photos of it. I'm really winging it because I'm absolutely not a car photographer, but we're gonna see what we can make of it here. The light looks incredible, and I think if we just put the car in the good light, we'll get good photos, so that's the plan. Um, we're coming up to a viewpoint now. The RZ67 already crapped out on the shoot. It already decided to stop working. I mess around with my flash here quite a bit to kind of create some visual interest different from the sunny images, just to give the editor something to play with in the edit of the magazine, create some visually different looking images. Flash is a great way to do that. And there was one flash shot in particular that stood out to me, which was actually a digital photo of the interior of the car. And it really lit up the interior perfectly in this like clinical way that shows like the beautiful details of the stitching and at the same time balanced with the natural light is kind of this nice mountainous landscape out the window and i think this is a great shot because 
it shows the interior, but it also gets you excited for these sacred roads that you can see just out the window. One of the requests for the shoot was to have a lot of motion in it so that the images really had the feeling of driving the Z06. And this was a real challenge for me, especially shooting on film. I shot anywhere between a 15th of a second and a 60th of a second when I was trying to get a motion blurry shot. In the end, this just took quite a lot of film to commit to getting that motion blur shot perfect. But in the end, I think it was worth it. There's one shot specifically that I think is my favorite from the whole shoot where the Z06 is just moving enough. You can see the wheels are spinning, but the car is sharp and this like gorgeous mountain landscape in the background is slightly blurry, but just sharp enough. I love the way this image turned out. This was also a spot where we took some portraits of Aaron Link, who, as I mentioned before, is the development driver for GM. He actually perfected this car on these roads. So to be able to photograph him here with the car was really special. I used my flash in these images and I got him sitting in the car with the door open through the window, just trying to get a little bit of variety here. And I like the way these looked, but ultimately, my favorite portrait of Aaron ended up being the one that we shot just after this at lunchtime when we sat down in a cafe and I snapped some candid flash photos of him drinking some coffee and it just ended up being such a natural looking photo. After lunch, I hopped inside the car for a nice drive because I knew I wanted to get some photos of the landscape moving through the front windshield and out the windows. The last missing piece of the shoot is something that's almost required on any automotive shoot, which is a rolling shot of the car, basically tracking the car from another vehicle. And so I was hanging out the sunroof of my car while Jake, my buddy was driving and we were following the Corvette down these desert roads. And this is a great way to get the car still in the frame with the wheels moving and the landscape blurred as the car is going by. My favorite one ended up being this one with kind of a interesting angle to it. And I don't usually do this, but I think in this case it added some energy to the shot and added the excitement that it needed. The magazine is out and it looks beautiful in print. I think this project was largely a success because of the very clear direction of the editor Cassidy at Road and Track, the way she requested a lot of motion in the shots and she asked for an emphasis on these sacred places just as much as she wanted photos of the car. It really was a dream project for me getting to combine like just my love for cars and photography in one project. Something that's really exciting is I think maybe the best video I've ever made for YouTube is coming out in a week or maybe 10 days on the Porsche YouTube channel. It's a video where I basically 
photograph all things Porsche. We go to the museum, their factories, their workshops. We drive cars out on the roads of Germany and that'll be out in a week or so, I think. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And finally, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for so many years and they've made it so easy to get a website up and running with my photography. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14-day free trial of Squarespace. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next week. Peace.